Hi, my name is Jason Kramer. I'm the founder of Cultivize. We all are in the same dilemma as business owners. We want to be able to communicate with our prospective customers in a more efficient way. And we want to be able to be more productive with not only our own time, but with those responsible for business development or sales for our company. What better way to do that than with marketing automation? Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to understand and know what someone is interested in, what service or product before you even speak to them? Or better yet, when they're expressing that interest, so you know when to actually follow up with them via a phone call or another email to help educate them on why your product or service is better than your competitors. I'd like to show you a firsthand look exactly how our strategies and platform allow you to do this. Here we're looking at a profile for Frank. The one thing I should start off by saying is that Frank's photo and social media icons come in directly automatically into the platform using the email address. So if you're already not connected with that prospect on social media, this is a great other way to have another touch point with them instead of just relying on a phone or an email conversation. What I wanna show you is something called the life of the lead. The life of the lead is a visual timeline that keeps a carbon copy of all actions Frank is taking when he actually communicates with me directly as the business owner or with our website, with social media, watching videos, and anything else we may have as a trackable asset in our marketing toolbox. If we look at the life of the timeline, you can see it's pretty extensive as I scroll through it. The important thing to show is that not only are you tracking all the emails that are being opened that are sent versus you know, traditional email one-off basis, but we're able to actually see which emails are being opened. We're even able to record emails that Frank was sending to me directly to my own personal email address or emails that I might've sent to Frank to his personal email address from my Outlook Gmail or email 365 account. We're able to see every page that Frank has visited on our website. And not only every page, but how long he spent on each of those pages. Furthermore, we can see all form submissions that Frank has filled out and all the information on that form. So as you can see, as we go through the journey here, we can see other interactions as well. We can see gated content that we've sent Frank, whether that be appearing in social media or via email that he's viewed and when he's viewed that document. And as you can see the life of the journey, there's been engagement after engagement, website visit after website visit, form submission after form submission. So what this tells us is that Frank is very engaged in what it is that we have to offer and what it is that he's reading and looking about our, for our company. Furthermore, if we go up to the top here, we can see that there's a lead score of 112. We customize this number and the value of how this number is formulated for every specific client because every client has unique needs. So you can see in this particular case, between the website visits, the email clicks, the media views, this is how we're tallying up the number for Frank. This information is used to be able to identify people that are in our database and are in clients database to be able to know what are the top five, 10, 15% of people out of the 10,000, 5,000, 50,000 contacts you may have who are most engaged in what it is that you're selling. If you'd like to see a live personal demo where I could show you all the amazing great tools and additional strategies we provide, I welcome you to look at the comments below and schedule a demo with me personally, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching.